What's up, guys? Welcome to another Fridays with the Daddy, Fam. A hey. pumpkin. A pumpkin. Oh, what? Okay, so last Friday with the Fam, I did a Facebook Live. I did a live. Ashley was feeling a little sick. She's still a little bit. I'm still sick. Or allergies. Yeah, they're allergies, and they're pretty severe. But um, <coughs> at least today I can talk. Last Friday, I didn't have a voice. True. <laughs> and Mila's here as well. So we're back together here. Um, but like I said, we did Facebook Live last time, last Friday by myself. Like you so. said you did, yeah. Jeff did fa uh, Facebook uh, yeah. Live by himself. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. There's always something going on. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest things was our San Antonio trip. It wasn't Daddy. really planned, but we always make the best of every trip. Every time we make make it outside of home, we always try to make the best out of. So tell them about it because it was pretty interesting. Um. So we went to San Antonio. One, to celebrate my cousin's birthday because he was complaining that he never has a birthday party. So my my aunt did like a little party for him. And so uh, we went to that. And then my mom, she got a new job at a new company. So, um, so now she's going to be traveling to San Antonio and to um, Austin and Dallas and to the border. Not the border. What is it? Um... Like Brownsville. The valley, Brownsville? The, oh. Yeah, the valley. That's what I was trying to say. Yes. The valley and... Um, so we'll be going up long. Yeah, and so since... Uh, so we ended up just staying until Tuesday. And uh, my mom went to work for a couple hours during the day. And we stayed at my grandma's house. And then we kind of explored at night. Pretty mm -hmm. much. Yeah, and um, we actually discovered some new places that we yeah. didn't know existed. Yeah, like completely new. And well, I guess because it's fairly new, because yeah. I think last year we went to the Hemisphere Park and they were still under construction and we hadn't been back since. And now they have a really nice park. So you guys will see that on the vlog <coughs> that I'm working on right now. We'll get that out sometime today. But uh, it was very great. We saw that also um, on Sunday or when was the Monster Bash thing? Oh, yes, yeah, Sunday. That same weekend, we went to this place called Victoria's Black Swan Inn. And uh, kind of like towards the end of our time there, we found out that that place was like one of the top 10 most haunted places in you know, Texas. We and had crazy. left and we went yeah. to Peter Piper Pizza afterwards to eat. And my aunt was telling us um, that she was reading up on that place. And it's like one of the top 10 most haunted places in like Texas or something yeah. like that. So we're like, what? And we did feel a little weird walking through yeah, the house. Like we just walked creepy. in, we're like, oh, that's kind of creepy. And just it out. was pretty creepy. And we didn't know. Yeah, we walked in and then, like, I walked in and walked out. They went exploring, like, in the back in the woods and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> and then they went into like this antique shed, and which is now we know it's like the dairy. What like is it? it was like the dairy barn or something dairy like barn. that. Where it's like the where like like it's like supposed to like the most haunted part of that area. So it it was a fun trip. So it was like the first time I think they did the monster bash. They did like an event like that there. But typically they're also a bread, a bed and breakfast, and also they do like small small events. It's also a wedding venue, which it's a really nice house. But I don't know. It's kind of creepy. But it's pretty creepy. But it's, but it's really cool. Nice. It's really nice. Yeah. And I had got some weird vibes. Um, <laughs> but then like my aunt telling me. That it was haunted. I was like, "Yep, I can totally see that." And then my grandma, like, she looks through her pictures, all the pictures that she's um, she took while she was there, and she comes across these two pictures that she says she swears she doesn't remember taking, because after she had took the picture previous, she put the phone in her purse and she didn't take it back out till later, and she found these two pictures that uh, she doesn't remember taking and. Um, and one of them, the lady's head was gone. Like her, like it's up from like here down is there. It's transparent and it, like you could see like the full background. Like it looks, it, does, it looks so weird. Yeah, so it was interesting there just being there. It was fun. They had a moon bounce for Mila. And so we were there. And so, but the thing is that we always go to these new places and new things. We also went to this new place called... Uh, I don't know if it's called it. I keep calling it Pearl District, but I guess it's, it's a Pearl, Pearl Brewery, Brewery in the surrounding area. It's very, very nice, and uh, it was really cool. Again, all uh -oh. this stuff will be on the vlog uh -oh. from our days Daddy. there. Sorry, Daddy. Huh? Sorry. Sorry, Daddy. Sorry. Hey. 
But yeah, San Antonio has a lot of cool things that, you know, I believe there's still a lot of things yeah. that we haven't explored, even though, you know, I would always say that, oh, like we saw everything that San Antonio had to offer, but there's a lot of development in the city, and it, especially because it's such a big tourist city, you know, it has a lot of history, so I think that's one of the main reasons they develop a lot of areas, which is great. Yeah, and so can't see. then we Mark, came back Tuesday night, like around midnight. Yeah, we got here at midnight. Um, <laughs> what do we do Wednesday? We didn't do anything Wednesday. And then Thursday we went out, Legacy. and then we ended up at the town center. We took some pictures. The babies played in the water. Um, Legacy. it's fun. Like we we haven't even though the the Parliament Town Center is like right there. We don't go there often yeah. anymore. At least on less couple of months mm -hmm. but whenever we get the chance we try to get the kids out and go out together so it doesn't become too much of a hassle and that's one of the things I talked about on that talk Thursdays yesterday I did it live it actually was yesterday when oh, we went to Sam's Wednesday um, yeah so we were going out I said Thursday different... yesterday was Thursday yeah yesterday was Thursday Wait, did I say Thursday? Okay, yeah, my bad. Okay, okay so yeah I was talking about just my being kids. comfortable taking the kids out and I know some parents you know, some some of the, every kid is different. Every kid behaves different. But I believe that if we get the kids used to going out often, they and they'll listen to you. They'll behave, and I think it's a good idea to take the kids out from an early age. And you know, we've taken Noah and Mila out, and they listen and they go they walk with us and everything. So little by little, we're showing them that you know that we we can take them out and just kind of getting over the fear of taking the kids out. And like I I mentioned a lot of times. That in, in the beginning, I was afraid to take me out by myself because I wasn't sure if I could handle any situation that would come my way. And now, you know, obviously, like, we, I go out with her on my own and take out the kids and just be comfortable taking them out and just getting over that fear. So let's hope Ashley gets better. So wish her good. I, they're just allergies. I suffer from them literally every year. Yeah, but you're like sick allergies. I don't know. They're pretty bad. They're called severe. Severe allergies. There we go. Hi right, guys, so there's there's that. We're still waiting on the Houston Chronicle post. Whenever that goes live, we'll definitely let you guys know. So stay tuned on our Instagram stories, on Facebook, and on our vlogs, and everything that we do, and we'll be posting and maybe we'll knock the camera again. So, but yeah, guys, it's about to rain here in Houston. I gotta go real quick, and I'll have to. There's also a football game, so I don't know if they're gonna cancel that because it looks like there's lightning and there's thunderstorm so we'll see, we'll see. but uh, okay also i wanted to ask what color should i dye my hair next like i i have pink and she stripped the pink off of her so. yeah and so now i don't know what to what color to do it so let me know i would really i have no idea what color oh a cool thing i'm so sorry i almost forgot okay so i had requested another vehicle <laughs> loan oh, yeah. And um, they weren't sure if they were gonna get it here tomorrow because you should make the deliveries on Thursday. Um, yesterday. So yesterday, right before going to the grocery store to get some stuff for dinner, the uh, the fleet management uh, crew came out here and dropped the car off. And I was just, I was in shock, but I was like amazed because they, they, those guys are awesome. They made it happen. It was like at seven. It was like yeah, and they usually seven. deliver the cars around noon. So that was very, that was awesome. I can't believe they, they pulled it off. They made it happen. So I have a, a red uh, Toyota 86 from 2017 in the driveway yeah. right now. So it's exciting. So stay tuned on my Insta stories because I'll be posting a lot of things. And we'll be doing another car review. And I'll have another interesting story that I'll be building on that. So mm -hmm. that's really exciting. I was really pumped that we got that car because I, I thought we were in And it's manual. And so Yeah, I'm I haven't driven a manual car in like... Five. A while, not five years. It's been like four. three, maybe four. four. But I got the hang of it now, and just it's easy. It's just I haven't. Okay, driven Jeff for a while, couldn't so. reverse the car. Okay, so that's for like funny. The first couple hours. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I, I was just relying on the gravitational push on the driveways to back up. Uh, but there's a funny thing. So you gotta put it like in like first gear, and then you pull this little thing up. Well, you know how to put it in first gear. But you had to pull the little ring up from the little cover on the gear shift knob so you pull it up and then it allows you to put it in reverse so it's very interesting but i had no idea because you know the cars that i've driven before they didn't have that so i was like how do i get in reverse it won't go in so i had to just pull the thing and just go so 
I'll post an Insta story later so you guys can check that out. Uh, that was hilarious. Me and my friend were making fun of Jeff because... Okay, he went to uh, one of our friend's house yesterday, last night. And, and I was like, dude, had... it's a parking lot and there's no like de de decline or anything. So I, like we're going to have to like push the car or something on neutral to get it out. But then I, so I stayed in the it car for like literally like 10, minutes. 15 minutes. That was like 20 minutes. It was, yeah, probably. I couldn't find something that would. There's not plenty of information. So I'm going to write about that on a blog post and Insta stories in case you have an 86. Or you ever have the opportunity to drive an 86 and can't figure out how to reverse because it's a little different. So that was funny and cool. So I got to go pick up high school kids. So thanks for joining us again for another Fridays <laughs> with the fam. Hope Ashley feels better. Mila just ran away. But I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome weekend. We're going to have a great week again. And there's a lot of cool things coming up. I, I, we, I'm going to be traveling early next week as well. So next week's Fridays with the fam is going to be in L.A. Oh, so, yeah. yes. Um, so next Fridays with the fam, L.A. We're going to be over there for We All Grow Familia. So that's going to be really okay. fun. Um, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned on our Insta Maybe stories. Maybe we'll do it on the beach. Oh, oh yeah, because I think Santa Monica Beach is fairly close to where we're going to be staying. So that's yeah, we'll awesome. See. Yes, yes. Yeah, that would be so fun. All right, guys. Okay. So a lot of exciting things. And I'll be going to Connecticut on Tuesday. I'll share about that later on. I can't say much about it right now. But um, yeah. Mm -hmm. See you next week, y'all. Peace.